I have never shared this on the channel and I feel like it is time that I get to open up about this. sit down up close and personal kind of vlog where I get to tell you why and how <laughs> I moved down to the Philippines to live. I'm currently seated at High Street South in BGC close to my house. I just needed a place with shade to sit down and talk to you guys today. So here we are. If you're new here, my name is Jackie and I recently, I can't say recently anymore, I moved to the Philippines with my husband almost one year ago interesting so we live here in BGC so I just want to tell you why the Philippines because I get that question a lot from the comments and even my friends you know back in Nigeria friends family everyone that knows me basically when I tell them I am in the Philippines they're like why <laughs> you know so I really want to make this video probably share the video with everyone so I can answer the question once and for all anyway so I've always loved to travel I've always loved to travel, you know, so even it, within my country, I have traveled so much within my country. Not so many people can boast of traveling to all parts of Nigeria, you know, many people just are born, live, school, work in the same place, but I have traveled everywhere in Nigeria, all across Nigeria, all across the cultures and all of that. I've been everywhere in Nigeria, so I've always loved to travel. Like, um, since I was a little girl, like maybe in school, you're writing hobbies, things like that, I would always write travel, you know, traveling has always been my thing. So it got to a point I was like, okay, I think I want to really make a lifestyle of travel, like really travel, you know. Because some things it's just best done when you're young okay so I had it in mind to I had different ideas should I move to another country stay for one year then move to another country stay for another one year or should I do it like one month here one month there kind of thing you know I am a remote worker I'm a freelancer so I don't have a nine-to-five job I can work from anywhere in the world so it's very flexible for me so I can literally be anywhere in the world right now okay I can be anywhere and I would still have an income you know to pay for my lifestyle <laughs> all right so I was that flexible so I had many ideas should I do this should I do that a noisy bike is passing I hope you guys don't hear so much of the noise I'm not using a microphone anyway so the idea that was really winning at the time was being a backpacker you know just having maybe all my belongings in one bag <laughs> a bigger bag not that small and I would just travel the world you know just have my essentials my laptop maybe one pair or two pairs of shoes you know just a little things in my backpack that I could like just be traveling from one country to the other like that many people do it it's, it's a thing people do it a lot so I really wanted to do that because I really wanted to see the world a lot you know at this phase of my life or that phase of my life at the time I thought about it so that's what I wanted to do. I was not married then. I hadn't even met my husband at the time. So I had this very solid plan on ground. Like I had, I had a solid plan. I wrote down everything, you know, my budgeting, everything was solid. I had that plan, right? So I wanted to start traveling in 20, 2021. Yeah, I want to start traveling in 2021 because, you know, pandemic came, closed down on the whole thing. So I even traveled during the pandemic. I went to Dubai <laughs> even when all the restrictions were going on I still made a trip to Dubai did all the um, COVID test and everything I'm right oh it was a lot you know traveling that period anyway so I my plan was start my travel journey another noisy <laughs> anyway so my plan was to actually start my travel career <laughs> in 2021 and then what happened i met this young man you know sometime in 2021 that was in um, april of 2021 and you know things were getting serious and i told him i am at the verge <laughs> of traveling the world now what is going on here are you going to be traveling with me you know 
so he was actually not into travel right but you know how it is when you want to get married to someone you would you would um you have to merge your vision and ideas and everything you have to merge everything okay one person doesn't have to like abandon everything like 100 percent to just follow you so we had a series of talks about the whole travel thing so being that i was getting married i had to like re-strategize i was like okay since this man i want to get married to doesn't have the same plan as me he doesn't want to like be a backpacker and stuff like that so I had to put that plan on hold and just say okay let's relocate let's go live somewhere else you know leave somewhere where once in a while we can travel to other countries from there like just find a central place to go live so that we can you know be traveling to other countries around so you know he started buying into the idea you know you have series of talks before you get married so we talked about all of that and then he said okay yeah then let's travel so being that the idea was new to him we said, okay, we are not going to travel immediately. We're getting married in December of 2021. So we said, okay, by September of the next year, we can then relocate to another country. So we needed to look for the country to go live. At the time, I thought that, okay, let's, let's go to Canada, right? I'm from Nigeria, by the way. Nigerians would love to relocate to countries in the West, yeah? most Nigerians will move. It's rare to see a Nigerian move to Asia, by the way. <laughs> it's really rare. I know, yes, you've seen a lot of Nigerians around you, but do you know the population of Nigeria? Compared to the Nigerians that move to the West, those that move to Asia are like just a sprinkle, all right? So anyway, a Nigerian would typically look at Canada, the US, um, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, you know, explore the English speaking countries first, you know, before thinking of any other place where there's a language barrier. That's what a typical Nigerian would do. So while, you know, thinking and researching and looking for where to move to, we also came up with Portugal. I absolutely love Portugal. So we're like, okay, should we go to Portugal? We talked about several countries we even talked about japan because i love japan as well we had never talked about the philippines like the philippines did not come up at all so we thought about all that we went through all the planning processes seeing the visas that we're going to explore because i didn't want to work <laughs> i didn't want to go to a country and like get a job things like that it's it's not in me I, i've been a remote worker for over a decade all right i've been always i've always been working from home so when the whole lockdown came it was just normal for me while everyone was like complaining and all of that my life was just blossoming as usual because that was my life all right so some countries we looked at didn't quite have the kind of visa for remote workers okay so portugal had it so portugal was more of the country we're looking at so portugal was like on the top of our list so we just narrowed down on portugal we're working on that you know budgeting i even reached out to realtors trying to get a place so the september that we plan to move we couldn't meet up with september okay so we're planning okay Mm, 2023 we would travel so january came february came we're still working on portugal so one night in the beginning of february it was time for bed we had gone to bed and everything and while lying down the philippines came to my mind you know i just want to say i just want to keep it light and say it came to my mind okay so i thought of the philippines the philippines hit me so strong and i'm like why is the philippines on my mind you know i was like philippines no way i can't move to the philippines so, so i just felt like okay let me google the philippines right so i picked up my phone and i was googling the philippines so the first thing i wanted to see about the philippines was condos in the philippines because <laughs> i always like to see where to live you know in any place so the, that was the first thing i googled about the philippines i googled condos in the philippines and I saw very nice condos, very nice skyscrapers. I think it was BGC I saw. So I remember my husband that was, you know, sleeping and the whole phone and everything was disturbing. And he turned around and he was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I showed him, I was like, I'm looking at condos in the Philippines. I told him, don't worry, we're not moving to the Philippines. I'm just seeing, I'm just checking stuff. Don't, we're not moving there, <laughs> you know? So that was it. So every day the Philippines was on my mind like so strongly. Basically the only thing I knew about the Philippines was from, you know, what I've known growing up. The Philippines is a third world country and there are so many um, Filipinos looking to move abroad to work. There are Filipinos even in Nigeria working. All right. I think the pay is higher even in Nigeria. 
I've gotten comments on my vlogs from Filipinos living in Nigeria and um, every country you go to you that you would see Filipinos working and interestingly you see some job vacancies where they indicate they are looking for only Filipinos that was my experience in Dubai right you see, they would say cashiers wanted or sales person wanted Filipinos only so that was what I thought about Filipinos that their country is not so great that they want to move abroad to work that is what everybody thinks about the Philippines right even my friends you know since I moved down to the Philippines and my friends get to see my life here they're like I want to come to the Philippines you know the Philippines is like this and just the other day a friend of mine said this Philippines is not a third world country you know people are beginning to see Philippines in a different light even from my own lens right so that is basically the general idea of the Philippines I mean no disrespect that is just out of ignorance right that is what we feel about the Philippines and that is why I actually do what I do and I also want to appreciate other youtubers as well and content creators basically those on Facebook on YouTube on TikTok foreigners that vlog about the Philippines you know because many people have a very old idea of the Philippines they don't know the Philippines of today so thanks to content creators people are beginning to see the Philippines for what it is today and you know these days the best place to do your research is on YouTube right so I, I started seeing um, travel vloggers that had been to the Philippines so I watched their videos I got to know more about the Philippines I looked at the visas in the Philippines and I saw that you know coming to the Philippines was quite easy for us I just started feeling the Philippines so in that February it was my sister's birthday so my husband and I went to my sister's house you know for her birthday so while we're just sitting and talking with my sister I told her that the Philippines has been on my mind a lot and I don't know why that I just keep feeling like I should go to the Philippines and she said why don't you go I mean buy a plane ticket and go see what is in the Philippines that was exactly what she said she said buy a plane ticket go to the Philippines and see what is there my husband and I we just looked at each other what my sister said just hit us like we can actually travel out to the Philippines <laughs> so right there in my sister's house my husband checked on YouTube and sent me a video about the Philippines it was a travel vlogger who had lived in Thailand and in that video he said there was a wave of youtubers coming to the Philippines things like that so he sent me that video so when we got back home that night we watched the video together on our TV and then that is how it just started we're just watching the Philippines videos you know how the YouTube algorithm is once you watch one thing they just bombard you with others so we started watching a whole lot of the Philippines so most of the vloggers we were watching were travel vloggers that just came to the Philippines for a few days so I now had I've had to research for um, youtubers that are actually living here in the Philippines so we found some of them we started watching you know we got so much information about the Philippines I even started reaching out to realtors to see how we can get condos how much are condos you know before you travel you have to have your budget you know what you're doing and all of that so we got all the budget down and it was pretty okay you know the um, cost of living in the Philippines was great for us at the time and also the visa options was also great for us you know? so that was it so February was when we had the thoughts to move to the Philippines and then in March we applied for our visa and it took about nine weeks to have a visa appointment and after the visa appointment it took us another three weeks to wait for you know our visas to be out so our visa was out and the very next day <laughs> we moved to the Philippines so between March that we applied for our visa and May we had to prepare to leave Nigeria we started giving away things I for one I had like so many clothes so many shoes like so many things I started giving them away slowly you know I'll just be giving out like one bag at a time you know to, trying to decongest <laughs> my wardrobe I had so many things things I had never even used my husband was like you have all these things and you keep wearing two clothes I gave out all these things and then some things that could be sold we sold them you know and gave away the rest we just like got rid of everything we had packed our lives into 
one and a half suitcase i usually call it one and a half because one is big and one is small one is the um cabin luggage yeah so we packed everything my husband and i packed into that one and a half luggages and we set out for the philippines there was no going back okay <laughs> there was no going back so if we had come to the philippines and we don't like it if we're going back to Nigeria, we're starting afresh, looking for a house, getting the house, furnishing the house, starting like afresh because we gave out everything. And I really want to thank YouTubers for the work they do promoting the Philippines because without YouTubers making vlogs about the Philippines, there is not much information about the Philippines out there. And that is one of the reasons I even started vlogging here in the Philippines because those vlogs were so useful to me when i was planning to move to the philippines you know so i was like okay when i get here i would also vlog as well to help other people that want to move down to the philippines and you know in this short months that i've been vlogging about the philippines i have met people here in the philippines that said they watched my vlogs and then decided to move to the philippines i have met them okay and even filipinos also watch youtubers to even be stay updated with what is going on in the philippines to be honest i get those comments i get emails and there's a lady i met in december with her daughter she said she used to watch us from the u.s and she had not been to the philippines for about 21 or 25 years and it was her daughter's first time of coming to the philippines she said watching our vlogs just made her want to come to the philippines and then we met um a family from america as well that said they actually just moved down to the philippines when we met them they were they were still in a the hotel they said they just moved down to the philippines from the US to come leave that they were thanking us for our vlogs that our vlogs really helped you know them to make the decision to move down here and we've met so many like that and I received so many emails like that so youtubers do a whole lot promoting the Philippines and I think Filipinos recognize this and they also really support um, youtubers here in the Philippines so thank you for the support and thank you for welcoming us to the Philippines with open arms I am going to do another video, another sit down like this, where I am going to talk about my experience living here in the Philippines for almost one year. I'm just going to let you guys know what it's been like, you know, culture shocks, my experiences, do I regret it? Do I not? Thank you all for the support. Please drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this. And let me know if you're planning to move to the Philippines as well. Because I notice people are really moving to the Philippines a lot recently. So let me know if you're one of them, if you're in the planning process. If you stumbled on this video because you're currently researching to move to the Philippines. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's see in the next one.